Hey everybody, Sir Tap Tap here. Just thought I'd do a quick video to A, show off the fusion fish from the latest update and give you a little preview of the next update. So first things first, here are the little fusion, um, or not fusion, but the, uh, the New Year's items you can get for the expand thing. There's also a couple fish around here. There's, a, there's the, the little frogfish and the, um, the lantern. Unfortunately, you only get one of each. Um, probably already seen or maybe even already completed this, but you just close this out and go to here with the main menu closed to get all these. Um, related to the expand, there's a bug in, expand, in the expand feature. Um, basically, do not use this menu at all until they fix this. But a lot of people have been having um, things go missing and like stuff just gets deleted. And um, if some of your stuff goes missing, um, message the developers on Facebook and they can get your stuff back. Um, definitely make sure that you mention that something went missing and be kind of short with your words because they don't really speak English very well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the major unfortunate thing. And also, as a little PSA, the um, interior crocodile alligators will be disappearing eventually. We knew they were limited time, so I made about 20 of them, as you can see here. Um, they'll be. We don't know exactly when they end. They sent out a, uh, a push notification. Their push notifications are frankly garbage. Um, it contained no information on when it was disappearing. It probably won't be until the end of the month, despite coming, you know, 10 days early. Um, they had a countdown timer on the marine otter. I don't know why they didn't do that for this one. But, you know, it's Abyss Room. Who knows why they do what they do. So, yeah, get, get as many alligators as you want. I think, personally, about 20 is good. But make... Make what you want, make what you can, whatever. Uh, I also filled the tank with the other fusion fish from this just so everybody could see them. Um, a little, another random note um, on the theme of bugs. The masked angel does not count as an angel fish for, um, for the peppermint angel. So if you're going for the peppermint angel, hold off on making the masked angels until you unlock it. Uh, it's dumb. All of the other fusion angels count for it. I don't know why they made that mistake this time, but they did. So keep that in mind. It's not as big a deal as the uh, thing. Oh, and while I'm here, the common dolphin here? That is actually a right whale dolphin. Less significant of a bug than the other things. But yeah, that's actually a right whale dolphin. Uh, common dolphins have, um, they're a little different. Their nose, I think, is less white. And the difference between the two tones is less uh, prevalent. Speaking of right whales, the, um, the snowflake whale from the last Christmas event is actually a right whale, not the blue whale or humpback whale that have been usually the event whales. So I'm wondering with the next fusion update if we might get a right whale. It would definitely fit with the right whale dolphin that they didn't call a right whale dolphin. Anyway, um, they also said confirmed two new updates. There is going to be another Halloween, or not Halloween, <laughs> um, Valentine's Day event, the two most romantic holidays, Halloween and Valentine's Day. So there'll probably be some method of getting the old Valentine's fish and a bunch of new Valentine's fish. That seems to be their standard. There will also be, they said, nine new fusion fish coming next month, or at some point. We don't know if it's exactly next month, but that's going to be in a soon update. And the sea otter or the assistant sea otter will be coming back. That's in the shop, that's for 10 bucks. And you can only get one for whatever dumb reason. Well, I mean, it gives you the items. The assistant sea otter gives you some fusion items. Um, oh yeah, by the way. So a lot of people asked, did they already remove it? I think it's already gone. But there was a auto harvest thing for a limited time that was $1 and people thought it was permanent. It is It is not. Um, I, don't, I think they already removed that. But yeah, the assistant sea otter is permanent, but it only gives you five items per day. It's not a bad way to spend ten bucks. It's one of the better ways in game to spend ten bucks. But personally, my philosophy on buying the in-app purchase fish: don't buy them for the benefit, buy them for the fish. If you don't think the otter itself is worth ten bucks to you, I wouldn't get it. Or if you don't think, like alternatively, if you want to give the developers ten bucks because you like the game, you know. It's a reasonable one of the things to buy for 10 bucks. That's how I view it. That's right, Parker. So, that's pretty much what's coming up. Uh, the sea ur not the sea urchin, the krill farm should be coming next. And I figured with the krill, like, 
I believe mean lots of things eat krill, but some whales eat krill, so I'm thinking there will probably be at least one fusion whale, especially since we already reached dolphins with this latest one, and there's not too many. There's sharks, and there's whales, and then there's like the sea dragons and stuff above the dolphins in the like abyssrium unlock chain, so I'm, I'm figuring that right whale dolphin is gonna pop up. But I don't have inside information. They don't, they don't send me any information. They don't even acknowledge my existence, honestly. Some people think the devs might like help me out now. Look at that beautiful hydra of crocodiles. <laughs> the bunching up is sometimes terrible and it's sometimes oddly beautiful. I think that one is more of the latter. Do not swim in these waters, my friends. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if they're going to do both the fusion fish and the valentines thing at the same time, but um, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, what else? So, oh yeah, I'm going to do a total re-record of my hidden fish video. There's a couple things that were slightly unclear, apparently. Like, there's some fish that I definitely covered in the video, but people keep asking about. Um, and the audio quality in that video is horrible. I'm so sorry for the audio in that. That, that video was recorded a full year ago, which, by the way, was the last time we had any new normal fish. Um, and I didn't really know how to, I didn't have Nox app player yet, so I didn't have a good way to record with my good mic. So that's why the audio quality is terrible. I'm going to re-record that as soon as the new fusion fish come out so I can cover every hidden normal and fusion fish in one video and have an excuse to redo that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. As always, um, you can support my guides and stuff on Patreon or just by a PayPal donation. There's a link to the Patreon in the... Um, in the description, or just go to patreon.com slash or tap tap. Uh, it's really a big help and it means a lot to me. Thanks so much to all of my 50 or 60 so uh, patrons currently. I uh, love all y'all. And uh, patrons get a special little role in my Discord just for a little bit of extra recognition. As well as Parker Pictures. Isn't that right? Yes. Say something. There you go. Um, and uh, early videos at a certain tier and uh, you can even get the credits of all my videos for 10 bucks so that's pretty cool I think anyway I hope that helps that is all there is to know about the upcoming updates so far as soon as the game actually updates I will have a video that's right